the Lebanese armed forces are increasingly called upon to maintain stability and contain the chaos on the streets of Lebanon. At the same time, the LAF is facing ever greater budgetary pressure due to the deterioration of Lebanon's economy and the devaluation of the lira. Soldiers' salaries are practically worthless, and many are struggling to support their families. The Lebanese army needs international aid to provide food and medical care for their soldiers. Most of Lebanon's problems are related to deep-rooted corruption, political inaction, and waste. The LAF must be supported and stabilized to keep order and oversee long-term reforms in Lebanon. However, the army must adapt some austerity measures of its own, in order to succeed. One example, cited by the Washington Institute, for Near East Policy, points out that Lebanon with an 80,000-strong force, currently has over 400 general officers. Compare that to the US Army, which only has 295 general officers, among 500,000 active soldiers. When the Lebanese generals retire, they receive a six-figure pension payout, a monthly stipend, a car, a driver, and free gas for the rest of their lives. Clearly, this is an enormous drain on the military's budget. While not suggesting the army take away those perks, the question remains, why does Lebanon have so many generals? Thank you for watching our video. We are searching for solutions for the challenges Lebanon is facing now. Please support us by liking the video and subscribing to our channel.